Oh man, I cannot wake up. Wait, I got an invention for that. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. I think it's fair to say that pretty much everyone hates waking up in the morning. So I thought it was time that I created an invention that helps you wake up in the most unnecessary way possible. The people over at Lifex sent me this pack of their LED smart tiles. And they say that they have 16 million colors and blended whites. You can control it with a phone and basically it's just gonna blast a whole bunch of light and I think that is the perfect way to help you wake up. The idea that I had for this invention was basically to create an open cube that you could slide over your head right when you wake up and it just completely blinds you with light and hopefully that will be enough to make you wanna get out of bed and uh, get your day going. So I made this super quick sketch of what the design is gonna look like. So basically it's just going to be a wooden cube with two handles on the side and we're gonna mount the LED plates on the inside of the box. So that way you have some nice handles to pick it up put it over your head and completely blind yourself. To save a little bit of time, I already went out and I picked up some 12 inch planks of wood that we're gonna cut down to size to make our cube. And I also picked up these stainless steel like cabinet poles and that is what we're gonna mount to the side of the box. And I think it's gonna look super clean. So let's go and measure the wood out and then cut them down to size and then I think we can just screw them all together. And before we get going, comment down below what is your least favorite part about waking up in the morning. I personally cannot stand the sound of an alarm going off in the morning. Nope. Let's go. All right, so I went ahead and measured this into 12 inch sections. So that is a perfect 12 by 12 cube. So when we attach them all together, they'll hopefully all line up. Let's get out the heavy equipment and cut these pieces up. And we are busting out some new tools for this one. But safety first. So now that we have all four of these cut to size, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill some holes so then we can screw them all together and hit them with a coat of paint. Oh wait, actually, once I have them screwed together, I'll probably sand them down then hit them with a coat of black paint to make them look so beautiful. So how are you guys enjoying my YouTube channel? It has been a bit of a learning curve getting things going, but I've been pretty happy with how the content has been so far. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see, what you hate seeing on this channel, just uh, go let me know somewhere and we can see if we can make that happen. I have a few ideas for some interesting videos coming up, so I'm pretty excited to keep things rolling and uh, having videos every single week. I will have a video coming out soon that I'm a little nervous to film, but it's pretty interesting. I sort of need to see how it's gonna shake out with the other party before I get it posted. So I have all the holes pre-drilled on the boards, so let's go ahead and screw these together. And in absolutely record time, we have the box. How does it look? I think it uh, fits pretty well. And if you are new here, I'm gonna have to remind you that I have no idea what I'm doing. So I am probably getting judged on my techniques, but I couldn't care less. I'm gonna sand this bad boy down and then I'm gonna hit it with a quick coat of spray paint. And once that dries, I'm gonna get a roller and do the final coat of black paint to get this thing all murdered out. I have a coat of black spray paint drying on the box outside. Seeing the first coat, I think we might be in the clear and I think I'm gonna be able to just do another coat of this and we're gonna be all set and I won't need to actually paint it again with the roller. I thought we could bust open these Lifex tiles and see what they're all about. Get them set up so that once it's dry, we can go ahead and get these mounted on the inside. We have some instructions. The general idea, plug them in and turn them on. 
So we got five tiles in the box, but we're only going to need four for the cube itself. So we have to pick a tile and make that sort of like the master one. So I choose this one. Whoa, we're on. We're too bright. Check that out. So I think I need to go and download the app and get this connected up to my phone. And a quick cut and attach all of the tiles together so that they are all connected into one. So now we can do all sorts of crazy different effects across all of the tiles. Maybe do some sporty colors, maybe do a nice little warm wake up. All we need to finish up is maybe slap on another coat of spray paint and then we need to get the handles onto the box and then at that point, I think we can go ahead and attach these to the inside of the wake up box itself. Okay, I think I found the one that is going to be the way that I wake up in the wake up box and I might have a seizure. All right, let's go do this. And we have the box all painted up black. It is looking pretty good. Nice and sleek. I didn't go fully on the insides because I thought the Lifex tiles will cover that up. So now we need to add the handles onto the side so that you have a nice way to grip it and put it over your head. For that, I have these stainless steel grips and these will attach just like that to the side of the box so you have a nice little handle. So let's go drill those on. Beautiful, as always. Now we can switch things up and get this handle attached. Oh yeah, we're on there. That's not going anywhere. Okay, jokey. We have two handles. So now the only thing we need to do is get the Lifex tiles all set up and mounted in here. I wish I could see exactly what I look like, but I can't. Pew! I've got the box with the handles. I've got all my Lifex tiles right here. So now it is time to install them on the inside. So these just basically have those 3M command strips and I'll be able to peel this off and stick them on the inside. And look what we have created. If you don't wake up from this, I do not know what will wake you up. All right, we have all four light panels installed inside of the box. Let's put it on and see how it goes. Oh yeah, I am totally and 100%. I feel like this is like a music video effect. I'm gonna have to figure out the best way to film this one. So let's do that. Let us cut to the official commercial for the wake up box. Well folks, I'm gonna have to go out and say it. We have ourselves another unnecessary invention. And it is a true masterpiece. Wah, 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 wah. I mean, I think that I'm gonna be able to just ditch coffee altogether. This is gonna be my new wake up routine. Plus maybe like a little midday session on the wake up box when you hit that afternoon slump. Now that this invention has been completed, I can officially give it the score of 10 my pillow guys out of 10. And of course you know the drill, head on over to Instagram and go check out the official product photos. And we just hit 250 unnecessarians over there. So if you aren't part of that community, go ahead and join. 
If waking up is one of the things that you absolutely hate, give me a thumbs up on this video. And do not forget to smash the subscribe button. That is gonna be all for today, and I will see you at the next invention. See ya.